leaving a bequest is really about thinking beyond yourself and your family and whilst looking after your family, it's what is the legacy that we want to leave um, when we leave this good earth in a hundred years from now. <laughs> yeah. I've been Melbourne born and bred met and married my wife Karen at the age of 40. We love to travel together. We have our beautiful dog Willow who's, who's definitely a part of our family now too and joined Guide Dogs about five years ago. I guess, you know, we were doing our wills about six months or so after we, I started and, and uh, you know, we were keen to, I guess, make a difference in an area that we can really see it, it's going to um, a good cause that will be managed really well. We both agreed that we wanted to leave a percentage of our estate to guide dogs. The Quest team gave us the you know, paragraph that needed to go in. We then met with our lawyer. That was quite simplified actually. I don't think uh, we ever want to get to be in that position where uh, we can't make a decision or we're not sure or we may go in a hurry or... I hope not. Yeah, we don't really <laughs> want to talk about that today. But, um... We talked to um, our families and said, you know, that this is what we wanted to do. I think in 2017, the quest and charity is very important. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I think in the years gone past, we've probably kept it very private, we've kept it very secretive. It's just between the lawyer and maybe one or two family members. But uh, I think it's very important to, that the family understands. People definitely understood why we were doing it. I would certainly encourage other people uh, to get involved, get in, involved early and enjoy the process whether it be 10 years, 20 years away, doesn't matter. I hope to certainly have a long, healthy, happy life together with my wife. Oh, that's lovely. But it's a fantastic organisation and... Uh, it's amazing the difference that these dogs make in the lives of people who are vision impaired.